In quiet, strategic whispers, Iran made a decision that could reshape the world. Far from the public eye, Iran chose to stop relying on America's GPS. Instead, it turned to China's Beidou satellite system, a move that's both technical and deeply political. This is about digital sovereignty. If you rely on someone else's map, they control your path. For decades, the world used America's GPS, but Iran saw this as a vulnerability. By switching to Beidou, Iran is reclaiming control over its digital future. This shift is part of a global trend. Nations want to control their own critical infrastructure, from the internet to satellites. The implications are huge, affecting everything from military operations to daily life. Imagine your phone's map going blank because a foreign power turned it off. That's the power GPS holds. Iran's move signals the end of one country controlling global navigation. The new competition isn't on land, but in space. For most people this might seem distant but it has real-world consequences. Satellite systems now guide our cars, track deliveries and are at the heart of a global power struggle. As more countries build their own systems, the world is splitting into new technological spheres of influence. To understand Iran's switch we need to look at GPS's origins. GPS began as a US military project giving America unmatched strategic advantage. Eventually the US opened GPS to the world for free. This move integrated GPS into the global economy powering logistics, agriculture and daily life. America's generosity cemented its technological leadership, but there was a catch. The US always retained control, with the power to degrade or deny access, selective availability. For countries at odds with the U.S., this was a major concern. Their infrastructure, from military to economy, depended on America's goodwill. This silent leverage became a powerful tool in international politics. Every nation using GPS was, in some way, dependent on the U.S. modern systems were built on a foundation America owned. This dependency was a cornerstone of American soft power. The world navigated by America's stars but the price was strategic vulnerability. GPS was reliable and free but always under US control. That's why Iran and others started looking for alternatives. For Iran, GPS was a risk, not just a convenience. Years of sanctions and tension with the US made this dependency dangerous. In conflict, the US could simply turn off GPS, crippling Iran's military and economy. The risk extended to civil infrastructure, flights, shipping, emergency services. This vulnerability undermined Iran's sovereignty. The need for an alternative became a matter of national security. The US has used technological denial before, and Iran saw the writing on the wall. Iran needed a system it could trust, not controlled by a rival. Adopting Beidou was a calculated move to reduce this vulnerability. By joining China's system Iran is entering a new technological ecosystem. It's a strategic step to build resilience against Western pressure. China saw the world's reliance on GPS as both a threat and an opportunity. Uncomfortable with US control, China built its own, the Beidou Navigation Satellite System. Billions invested, decades of work, and dozens of satellites later, Beidou rivals GPS. Beidou isn't just a copy, it offers unique features like satellite-based messaging in remote areas. China claims Beidou is more accurate in Asia, and it's promoting the system globally. Through the Belt and Road Initiative, China offers technology and financing to help countries adopt Beidou. Nations like Pakistan, Saudi Arabia and Iran are joining a new China-centric tech bloc. This expands China's influence and creates new technological alliances. The competition isn't just US versus China. Russia has GLONASS, the EU has Galileo. The world is moving from a single GPS standard to a multipolar navigation landscape. Countries now face choices that reflect political alliances. The technology you use may soon depend on your country's global partnerships. The competition in the skies mirrors rivalries on Earth. Iran's switch from GPS to Beidou marks a new era. The systems that control our location are now at the heart of global power. These choices will shape alliances, economies and security for decades. We're seeing new digital empires built on orbits and signals, not land and armies. Future tech, self-driving cars, smart cities will depend on these systems. Competing standards could create a fragmented, less connected world. The invisible systems we rely on are becoming politicized. This rivalry could bring innovation, but also instability. Control over digital infrastructure is the new frontier of global competition. The world is being divided by the silent signals from satellites above. 